you aren't special. Back before I started making these videos, I would always want to start a YouTube channel. I always want to record videos and to post them and for people to watch them. But the thing that would hold me back is my appearance and how I looked. I would try to record a video and then I wouldn't like how I looked and I wouldn't post it at all. That's the main thing that stopped me. I was scared of how I look. I would think that I don't look perfect or the lighting isn't that good or I don't know, the angle's bad. And my face looks fat and puffy. I always think that. And I will always think that I have to look perfect every single time on camera. And now I realize that that was because of an ego. An ego in my head was telling me that I am special and I always have to look good on camera. The ego was telling me that I always have to look perfect. I always have to talk and with a deep voice like this. The ego was telling me I'm special. That I'm, I'm better than everyone and I have to hold myself to these high standards. But that's just not true. You're not special, I'm not special. We're all the same, we're all the same. And we don't have to hold ourselves to these huge standards that we always have to look good, that our bodies have to look good, as good as when we have a pump, or that we always have to, our faces to look all perfect, no acne, none of that. And obviously social media played a huge role in that because when you post on social media, of course you want to choose the best picture possible. And that's your ego talking. That's your ego telling you, oh yeah, you got to post this picture. Because if you post this one, your friends are going to see it. Or like your followers, your friends are going to see that. And they're going to laugh at you because you look so bad. And on social media, you portray yourself as this fake version of yourself. That's living this perfect life. And... That's just your ego talking to you. Your ego wants you to be so good and perfect and hide everything else. All of us think that people are looking at you and thinking at you and watching how you walk or if, you, if you're awkward, they're all thinking about you, they're all looking at you, but that's just not true. They're all worried about their own insecurities, just like both of us. No one's actually looking at you and paying attention to how you walk or how you talk or how your arm moves. Oh no. They're all worried about their own insecurities. They don't actually care. The main thing is stopping many people from actually starting their goals and achieving their goals is their ego in their head telling them that they have to be perfect every time, they have to be special. That if I if I don't if I don't record this video, if, if this video isn't perfect, then then no one's gonna watch it and, and it's gonna be bad. Think about it this way. If you go to the gym, of course you're not going to expect to get a 200 pound bench on the first day. Of course you're not going to expect that. You're going to slowly start off with a light weight, maybe even the bar, slowly benching it, and slowly eat each workout, adding more and more weight to it. That's how it works. Same thing with videos. You're going to record a video, get no views, and then record another one. Get better, talk talk more clearly, get better at recording the videos, record longer videos. And each time you post and record these videos, you're gonna get better every single time. Same thing with the gym, you add more weight and you get better, you get stronger. Each time you learn from each time, it's the same thing. You can't just expect to be perfect because you aren't special. Your ego is trying to tell you that, oh, you have to be perfect. And if you're not perfect, it's gonna be, it's gonna be bad, and it's not gonna be bad. No one starts off as perfect. You're not gonna look good on your first video, but as you progress, you get better. You, you just have to destroy that ego that's telling you that you have to be all perfect, and that's holding you to these high standards. When I was a little kid, I would always be called that I'm a special boy. I'm, I'm really special. I'm really special even though I'm not. I'm the same like everyone else. Think about it. All guys want the same thing. They want a girlfriend, they want to get rich, and they want a good body. You're not special if you want these three things. Every guy wants those three things. You think, oh yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm making a business. Yeah, 
every guy wants to make a business and be financially free. You're not special if you're doing something that everyone does. You have to realize that you're not better than everyone else. You actually have to do something to prove yourself. You're only special when you actually do something that's worthy for you to be special of. Once you achieve something big, then you're special. Then you're better than everyone else because you actually did something. And to do something, you have to start. You have to start by not being perfect. You have to destroy your ego that's telling you to be perfect. The ego is our worst enemy. And all of us have to destroy it. Because all of the time, the ego is always stopping you from achieving every single one of your goals. You have to break free from the ego and bury it in the ground. I hope this video helps you. Subscribe if you want and go get off YouTube.